massive, messy action is honestly what I think so many entrepreneurs attribute their success to. As I just said, it's what I attribute so much of my success to. Hi everyone, and welcome back to The Business Bar. My name is Erin and I'm a personal branding strategist and online business mentor. What I wanted to talk about today was habits. I've created so many videos in the past about habits and you guys seem to really like them. But particularly what I wanted to speak about today was three habits that could be sabotaging your success. Now, if you're struggling with them, don't worry. These are definitely things that are common amongst all of us and things that I have definitely struggled with myself and so have my clients but they're easy to overcome if you do work at it. So I'm gonna be pairing this talk about bad habits with a drink called a Marilyn Monroe. And to be honest, the only reason why I did this was because when I was flipping through my drinks book, I was like, hmm, bad habits, sleeping with the president. You know, and if you're doing that, you should probably stop. So that was my reasoning behind it, but it's also a delicious cocktail. If you did like today's episode, I would very much appreciate it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new around here, become a regular by subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications. The first habit that I have to say is probably going to offend a lot of people. Well, maybe not offend you, but you're gonna be like, ugh, I'm not gonna give that up, so I'm just turning off this video now, but please bear with me. If you really want to create success in your life, you have to stop mindlessly scrolling through social media. It is truly one of the biggest time wasters that we are all doing every single day. I want you to actually pause this video right now. If you have an iPhone, sorry, I don't know how to do this with an Android, but I'm sure there is a way as well. But what I want you to do is actually go look at the battery section of your iPhone. I want you to switch it to time and look at how much you've spent on all of the apps that are to do with social media in the past 24 hours and in the past seven days. Then I want you to start really thinking about what you could have done in that time to grow your business. Maybe you could have sent those emails to that media. Maybe you could have emailed some potential clients. Maybe you could have created that course or worked on the book. I don't know. I know social media is a huge part of our business and we definitely need to use it to engage with our audience, but I know so many of us are also just scrolling mindlessly through it. I actually took a social media detox a couple of weeks ago and I spent the whole weekend without any social media, not even engaging with my potential clients in my community. And I must say, I got so much done. I practiced my guitar more, I worked on my business more, I filmed a whole bunch of videos, I was able to spend time with George, and I just felt so much better about my life. Now this is obviously not an urge for you to quit social media altogether, but it is to become more mindful about how you are spending your time on social media and whether or not you need to be spending as much time as you actually are. My suggestion is that if you are in business and you do use social media to grow your brand, then all you need to be doing is spending at least an hour a day, that's it. And anything above that is probably going overboard and maybe mindless scrolling. So if that's a habit that you are currently doing, please try give it up and I do suggest that you try a little bit of a social media detox just to see how much you can get done in the time that you're usually scrolling. All right, the Marilyn Monroe. I love Marilyn Monroe to be honest. I know she, she, she did some naughty things but at the end of the day, who hasn't? To make a Marilyn Monroe, simply all we're gonna be doing is adding a little bit of apple brandy with some grenadine into a cocktail glass and then topping it with sparkling. I know it sounds fancy AF, but it does taste super delicious. So I'm just gonna add around 30 mils of this brandy to the bottom of this glass. <laughs> Spillage. And then I'm just gonna add around 15 mils of grenadine here as well. Now obviously grenadine's super sweet, so you can do this to taste, but I'm gonna add around 15 because I like it sweet. So the next habit that's so important to give up, and this is a habit, it's one that sneaks up on us though, is that you want to stop overthinking things. I've spoken so many times in the past about how I attribute so much of my success to being able to take massive action without much thought. Now this is of course not saying that you don't wanna put thought into anything that you do, but when you truly do begin to perpetually overthink everything and question yourself and compare yourself to other people, you are just slowing yourself down so much. And I know so many people who do overthink things in their business, it tends to lead to not taking action at all. So what I want you to do is when you do have an idea, rather than 
strategizing rather than planning rather than speaking it out. If you've got an idea that you intuitively think is a good idea, something that will move your business forward, I want you to take one action that will move you in the direction of that specific idea before you really start to strategize and think about it. You know, maybe it's that you want to create a membership site. Maybe you could go buy the domain for that membership site, or maybe you could buy the membership site software without actually spending so much time thinking, is this a good idea? Should I do this? Mulling over all of the details. You could get a lot done. Now, massive, messy action is honestly what I think so many entrepreneurs attribute their success to. As I just said, it's what I attribute so much of my success to. Now, is every idea always going to work out? Absolutely not, but at least you tried rather than overthinking it, stressing yourself out and then not taking action at all. So if you are habitually an overthinker when it comes to taking action, that is something that you really wanna stop. All right, now we have the fun part, which is opening the Chandon. I said that like this was really fancy, but the Chandon was actually on sale today. So opening the Chandon <laughs> is more how we should have said it. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Woo! I just scared my dog. And then the final habit that I really think is going to be sabotaging your success is catastrophizing. And this kind of falls in the into the category of making excuses, but it goes beyond making excuses. One of the main reasons why you might not be acting on your ideas or consistent on social media is because you catastrophize your excuses. And tell me if this sounds like you. Do you ever say, oh my gosh, I'd love to create all that content or I'd love to have a YouTube channel, but I just have zero time. I bet you don't have zero time. I mean, you're spending it scrolling on social media, right? Anyway, your phone won't lie. But seriously, I know, all jokes aside, at the end of the day, we sometimes catastrophize our excuses. We say we have zero time or, you know, I can't do this because I just don't have those skills or I can't take photos because it's literally black outside and there's no sunlight. When we start to tell ourselves like this, our mind begins to believe us. Our mind will believe pretty much anything that we say. So when we say things like, I have zero time and I can't do this, or I can't take photos because there's literally no sunlight, or I can't film videos because I don't have the skills. When we start to catastrophize all of these excuses, we cut ourselves off from ever being able to do anything. Our mind will believe us and it will create specific resistance towards doing those tasks because you yourself have told them there is no way we can make it happen. So what I want you to do is really think about the excuses that you're making and ask yourself, every single time you hear yourself making an excuse, ask yourself, am I over-dramatizing this? Or even is this really true? If you have zero time, and I mean zero spare time, there is always something that you can do to change that. Maybe that does mean making a sacrifice. Maybe it means waking up earlier or going to bed later. Maybe it means not spending as much time on all the mundane tasks that you do. Try to cut your eating in half. Try to cut your cleaning and teeth in half. I'm sure you could save hours in a day if you didn't take as much time doing your makeup or showering. Take a minute shower. You know, it's not that you have zero time, it's just that you habitually have certain things done a certain way. So really think about the excuses that you're making. Ask yourself whether they are true. Ask yourself whether you're over-dramatizing things and stop training yourself to not do things and instead start training yourself to be proactive and just get things done without the excuses. All right, I know we haven't really concentrated on this cocktail in this one, but let's pour in the champagne. I call this champagne, but really it's just sparkling wine and all French people from that region would be turning over in their grave if they heard that. And then what you wanna do is just top it with cherries. Now, if you did have maraschino cherries that had a little cherry stick on them, you could obviously hang that over the edge, but I have just these two little ones today, so I'm hanging over the edge like that. But that is it from me. I really hope you enjoyed this business bar episode today. I hope you're walking away drunk on knowledge and empowered to take action on your dreams. If you have any other bad habits that you think might be sabotaging yours or anyone else's success, then please do leave them in the comments below. And in the description, I have a free masterclass, a niche masterclass that you can sign up for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really do appreciate your time. I think you're freaking amazing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.